For me, prosperity was a hurdle, a big one. Because all I'd ever heard was if you was going to be holy and serve God, you had to be broke because money was the root of all evil. One of the most misquoted scriptures in all of scripture, and it, because it says the love of money is the root of all evil. Okay, I've met people that didn't have two dimes to rub, rub together that love money more than people I was working for that had millions. Money's not the issue. It's the attitude with the money that's the issue. And I, my simple solution to, to, for all of us, myself included, on money is real simple. If you ever wonder if money's got you, just see if you can let it go. Because if you can't let it go, it got a hold of you. Well, you mean let it go. When God tells you to let it go, let it go. Not when somebody's trying to twist your arm in an offering. Not when somebody's making you trying to make you feel. We don't do that here, but I've seen people do it. Make you feel guilty because you're not given or guilty because or, or the one that's not even to do with church. But I mean, man, you're talking about the, the height, height of manipulation is Sarah McLaughlin and the dogs. And I'm not even an animal lover, and that one will make you, well, I can't say that anymore. I have a beagle. But anyway, <laughs> what are they doing? They're manipulating people to give to that by showing this pitiful dog. I'm not talking about that kind of giving. I'm talking about giving because God spoke to you and said, you know, you need to do this. And then you know money don't have you.